Hello. So we have this new option, Geometry Notes in Blender. That it's coming. It's going to be great. I think it's it's amazing. It's quite limited right now. Like there is like some options that are uh, available, but uh, we can start to test it. Test it, and they just merge it to uh, the Blender uh, main branch. So it means that uh, it's experimental still. So if you download the uh, Blender from here, you will not have this option. You have to go to experimental. Okay, go download Blender experimental. Uh, don't worry, it's not dangerous. Uh, you can you can have two blenders okay you can install the blender 2.91 and the blender 2.92 alpha and use this one only for testing option okay so if you download this one you will get um the new blender and we can start to play with the geometry nodes and i will show you how to create this um a table that you can control all the parameters um from this node tree, okay? So yeah, let's start the tutorial. So here we are in Blender 2.92 Alpha, and we have a new option for the objects. Whoops, let's bring that up. And we have the option Geometry Nodes. Okay, so Geometry Nodes, if I create a new Geometry Node, I will have a new Geometry Node node tree uh, so this also it's also a modifier so this node is for example let's call it table it's using the table node okay so if i want to create this table on with nodes i can just use that one okay um so let's let's go here and let's take a look at the notes that we have uh, one of the basic notes that we have is the transform node so i can use the transform node and just plug it here between the input geometry and output geometry and let's transform like we have translation rotation and scale we should be quite familiar with that uh, so basically if i increase the, the uh, x on translation it moves to the right okay so i'm following the x-axis so that's quite common so what we can do with that um for example let's say that uh, if i want to make a table and this will be the leg okay um i need to make uh, i need to scale it maybe a little bit so first uh, i need to scale on x and y little down something like this but i want to control them uh, equally so what i can do is create a vector combine x y and z and now i can introduce uh, uh, different parameters here and just plug that here so um what what i what i mean so i want to control x and y uh, with a value okay so if i go here to 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 input value i can connect this value here and here and then so x, x and y will be 0 0.5 always. And then I connect this here. And this is flat because z is set to 0. So I want to set z to 1. Okay, so now I can control x and y at the same time with this value. Good thing about it is like we can output that value outside. So if I get rid of this value node and I connect this here and here, and let's go to the node and i'm gonna rename that leg okay if i go here i have this parameter leg that i can control okay so this is the basic about node so um quite simple but quite powerful because we can start to do things like for example i'm going to duplicate this transform node and i'm going to bring that here and I'm going to go reset that zero and the scale. I'm going to set the scale to here uh, all one, but this one X will be minus one. So here I'm creating like a mirror. Okay. So if I connect this one, the leg is on the other side, but I lost the first leg. So how can I keep both? I can use another node, call it join geometry. Okay. So this node will fuse, um, 
those um, those um, two transforms. Okay, so now I can I can I can have like a legs mirror it on the center. Okay, so I can just uh, maybe create another node here and set that to zero, and I can control um, x and y separately here. Okay, so if I connect x and y here I can go x and y and on y probably I want to set here minus one as well no I need to create another node another mirror for y okay so I'm gonna do exactly the same thing shift D this one is gonna go here this is gonna be one this is gonna be minus one and I need to join this geometry again. Okay. And here, yeah, it should should work now. So I have I can control X and Y for the legs. Okay, the position X and Y for the legs. And it grows the table. And I can control the size of the legs for all the legs, basically. Cool. So basic note now. I need to create the top of the table okay so this is basically another transform right so i can just plug that there make sure that this is all reset zero 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 and one 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 and i'm just gonna connect that there and and i can just join that and this will be the top of the table okay but let's change something first so i want the legs to be on the base of the scene okay if i create a plane scale that. i want the legs to be on that plane so what i can do is here on the transform okay so i can uh, so if i call if i connect the legs uh, to the scale Z, okay, so I can scale the, the leg size, okay, the height. So I have another control for that. Maybe should put that up and name it leg Z. Let's name this one leg Z and this leg XY. Okay, so now I can control the height, but I want it to be always on the base. So what I can do is add a utility node, call it math, so basically a math operation. And here, let's make a little bit of space. What I want to do is um, basically when when the legs go, when the legs scale, I want this value to go up. So I'm going to go... Um, at uh, here okay so i'm just going to add this value to z okay so set that to zero that value and that should just work so if we go here and change the size of the legs the height of the legs the position x y and now I need to make this part. Okay, so this will be um, the top of the table. On the top of the table, what I want to do is basically flat this. So um, another vector combine x, x, y, and z. And I want to control z basically, right? So let's connect. Bring that here for a second like that and I want to control this set that to one and I want to control to Z okay um, so now what I can do is the position on on change the position here so I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the same length set okay. I'm gonna connect this to here transform this needs to be zero i don't want to move this 
square on x and y only on z connect that to transform and this should be working now so if i create another geometry combine i will combine the legs and the top of the table boom now i have all the elements together and make the table bigger or smaller but uh, uh, it's not uh, the Z is not exactly on the top of the, the legs, so it should be. I need another math note, and what I need to do is multiply by two. Okay, so when I multiply by two, this distance that goes up, basically multiply by two because so for the legs, basically it goes up halfway, and that works, but for the top of the the table, I need to go twice that distance so that's why i multiply this by two and basically so i change when i change the leg z it automatically adjusts the, the top of the table okay so now what i want is to adjust this distance with the legs okay so if i move the legs i want this to adjust as well so what i'm going to do is basically connect x and y here and no sorry i'm gonna connect it to the scale x and y okay so now they have um when i move the size of the table it follows but uh, obviously the legs are outside the table a little bit so i want it to be under the table so what i can do is basically um, use another um, utility node connected here and i can uh, yeah probably multiply or add whatever you want so you can add a little bit and it will always add this a little bit of distance we can use the same node here so you can say okay so i want this distance to be always 0 0.5 so if i make the table very big or very small this distance between the legs um, and the end of the table will be always the same um, or you can add a multiply so if you use multiply and minus 0 0.2 for example ooh, let's say two, that will be always double the distance so but this like the, the bigger it goes the table this distance will will increase so it really depends on you i i, I think just adding should work we can um make that parameter we can bring that parameter here to the output to the node here let's bring that there and name it uh well, name it value for now <laughs> um so now we have this um, table that I can control the size, uh, size of the legs, um, the height, and the, the distance between uh, the legs and the table. Um, and yeah, quite simple. It works. Uh, so the good thing about the geometry nodes now is I can reuse that. So if I create a cylinder and I bring it the side and i can create a modifier geometry node and i can use the same table node okay and obviously i need to adjust the parameters but here i can just like change the leg size the height and then make the table a little bit bigger okay so here i can make another table with another uh, geometry this maybe i need to increase that okay make like a coffee table maybe Okay, so I have a node three that generates tables and I can control. So it's very easy, you know, to, if you extrapolate this to a more complicated project, you can imagine like making houses and cities uh, or whatever, whatever you want, maybe like very easy. Problem right now, it's very limited. Okay, we have um, 
more notes here that I, I am thinking to create another tutorial as well to show how it works. Uh, but yeah, this is how you can create tables with this geometry note tree. Hope you like it and yeah, see you next time.